Hey you guys, this actually isn't going to be too long because um, I'm on the back patio and unfortunately I've literally tried to record this video like five or six times and I keep getting distracted because people keep walking in and out but you know it is what it is. So I apologize in advance if I have to pause the video and continue talking and whatnot. But anyway, I wanted to, um, which this is actually a beautiful word. It's not going to be too long because my phone is like literally on like 17%. So I'm going to try to like brush through it. But, um, I was talking to somebody earlier about, um, an accident that happened. Um, a friend of hers that she has, her son recently passed away down here in Beaumont, Texas. Um, they don't really know like what happened to him, but what the mom was suspecting is that maybe he was hanging around some friends and they probably like laced, um, maybe some weed or you know some edible or something they could have been taken and long story short I think they found him they found his body in a body of water somewhere down here in Beaumont Texas and um he passed I think he was uh he was in high school he was maybe like 16 to 18 years old excuse me and um that conversation actually led to us having a conversation about just drugs in general and just how different drugs um, affects people's bodies differently. Everybody does not respond the same way to drugs. They really don't, okay, especially from a mental perspective. And um, we were talking about um, a lot of different stuff. And don't laugh at me because I didn't know this, but um, I like to research and just kind of educate myself about different things. And I actually learned recently, not too, too recently, but um, I learned that the hard drugs that people really encourage you to stay away from, like um, heroin and maybe some other stuff, because I don't really know what else is out there. I know about acid and stuff like that, but heroin specifically, I did not know actually derived from an actual plant. <laughs> I always thought that the real hard drugs was just like totally just straight chemical stuff that people make in like a trap house or something and it's not. And um I think I think I mainly learned that from watching uh Ozark on Netflix. <laughs> Cause that, that whole series is like uh it's just dealing with like a lot of drug ring, like a cartel type. It's a it's a good uh it's a good plot, good show, but um, I was surprised when I learned that. I said, okay, it's actually quite a few drugs that people take that you actually get addicted to that derive from natural herbs and plants. And what I was told recently, especially since I was um, kind of re-experimenting with like antidepressants and um anxiety medication recently that I had shared maybe a couple months ago which I'm not right now because I, I hate taking that stuff um but the girl that I was talking to she's really really cool and uh me and her would just have uh actually she probably watches my channel because I talk about my YouTube channel so <laughs> she probably wondering why I ain't came in <laughs> but I'll just I, I, I don't I don't like medications y'all but um me and her would have conversations in her office just about like um just keeping it real about medications because uh she a black chick that even though she's like psychiatrist she doesn't really believe in like the medicinal <laughs> you know route she um she likes to take the natural lane with stuff and like you know having like natural alternatives and supplements and things like that vitamins so when I would complain because she would prescribe to me like an anxiety medication or like an antidepressant which I would not pick this up from my, I, another thing I don't, I don't like this because <laughs> you'll be like depressed or like genuinely like kind of seeking a solution to something. And I mean, I feel like there's many different things that can aid with that. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm just pushing away the spiritual element completely, but um, to be honest, you guys, when you're on like a journey of just like self healing and you're genuinely dealing with like anxiety and depression as a Christian, sometimes you can't even really do that part by yourself either. So, even if it is a temporary band-aid, like, I don't care, <laughs> you know, I'd rather, like, be chill, you know, for a few hours, you know, and kind of have this, like, assist me than just be freaking, like, depressed all day because I'm dealing with trauma. Yeah, I talk to God every day. Yes, I hear from Father every day. Yes, he addresses the very issues with me every day, but, I mean, healing is, it, you know, it, it takes, it's a process, and, um, if you don't have like the right support system around you, you, you are like that every day. So 
I was looking into that a couple months ago. I'm not on any medications, but I would complain to her. Uh, they don't like me because they'll give me medication and I'll take it like <laughs> probably a few times. I don't really give it a chance to like get into my system because I don't like medication. And I'm the type of person who, if I can tell that what I'm taking is, and I don't like the way it's making me feel, or I don't like the way it's kind of like um, making me respond like mentally, or maybe it's just not doing it for me at all, I, I'm just not going to take it. I don't follow the whole protocol of, you know, well, you know, it has to get into your system, you got to take it for six weeks, and... You got to take it for a month or two months. Like, I'm not doing all of that. I mean, maybe maybe in y'all's, you know, uh, maybe in your realm being a doctor, like, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to tell somebody that. But to be honest, your body and your spirit is designed to know when something is off, when you are taking something foreign that God does not want you to put in your body. Okay. Um, so when it comes to antidepressants and some anxiety medications, like I said, it's either it ain't doing nothing for me at all, or it's making me feel some type of way, even if it's not bad, I don't like the side effects. Side effects is a sign of your body letting you know, I don't know what this is, <laughs> you know, I, I don't like it, it ain't supposed to be here. And you know, I want to, I want to talk about this, see, I always do this, my phone about to die. <laughs> I, I do not want to make this video too long, but I mean, I, I feel like when it comes to like the whole, you know, the doctor realm of stuff and then giving you medications, I feel like that whole thing about, you know, you having to take medications for a certain time period, I think that you can force your body to accept and to take something that it's rejecting. And I think that, that the way they kind of justify that in their realm, it's like, oh, well, you know, you know, every pill has side effects and, you know, it just takes some time to get into your system. Yeah, there's going to be some nausea. There's going to be some diarrhea. There's going to be some, you know, this, this and that, <clears throat> you know, but, you know, you'll, you'll get over it, you know, give it, give it like a month, give it like, you know, four to six weeks and then you'll start to reap the benefits of the medication. And you know, when I when I actually kind of meditate on that, and I think about what you said, that sounds like you put something that's not natural in your body, or it's foreign to your body, and your brain chemistry does not recognize this. I, I'm going to speak about this from a spiritual perspective in, in a few minutes. And I think the side effects that they like to downplay is actually the signs that your body and your mind is giving you that something is wrong. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you put it in here, but it ain't God. <laughs> okay, it's not natural. Um, your body is not agreeing with whatever is in that stuff. And I think, you know, the whole encouragement to take medication for like four to six weeks or for like one or two months for it to really get into your system. I think that what you're doing is you're basically ignoring what your body is telling you and you're basically programming your body when well, you're gonna take this anyway <laughs> you know and i think um honestly i feel like that that's what anything even even from a, from a spiritual perspective when you have the holy spirit convict you about something you recognize his conviction okay whether it's from a conscience perspective or whether he's witnessing in you that something is foreign you know that he does not want you to continue to use or continue to do and what do we do we ignore him and eventually it goes away <laughs> or he it gets more silent so I feel like you know you can't really trust doctors I mean I feel like maybe some stuff could be okay but for the most part medication in general I think it's just designed to kill you I think anything is not natural to be honest it's just designed <laughs> to kill you I mean I'm laughing but I really do mean that and I think they just kind of created this you know um this protocol it sounds fancy, you know, it sounds professional from like a medicinal standpoint, like, oh, well, it takes some time to get into your system. There's going to be some side effects. And then you like start getting into what the side effects are. That sounds like symptoms of your body rejecting a foreign substance, but y'all calling it side effects like nausea. 
Nausea is not a positive sign. <laughs> Nausea is your body rejecting something. That's usually preceding you regurgitating. And when you're regurgitating something, your body is rejecting it to the point where it's trying to get it out of its system. But you have, if you have nausea as a side effect to medication, that is your body letting you know. The way that the Lord has designed your body and designed your spirit, it's you know when something foreign is going inside that's not supposed to be there. Your body is not agreeing with it. That's the side effects. Those are signs letting you know that I don't know what you do, but you need to stop taking it. And I feel like the whole four to six weeks things, like I said, I feel like you basically ignored your body trying to help you, your mind trying to help you, and you let this foreign substance kind of come in and just reshape everything. I do believe that medication specifically intended for things like depression and anxiety, I do think it's meant to mess with your brain chemistry. I think it's some stuff out here can really just like change you like in a way that you really don't know about, okay? You got people out here on the streets like, you know, walking around butt naked and you know, doing a lot of crazy things for a reason, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, but I mean, it's true. So, you know, I'm just like, nah, that does sound like you should have listened to your body first. And if you keep taking it the way they tell you to, you're going to let something else kind of come in and reprogram your system to kind of alter the way God naturally made your system to recognize things. It's going to shut whatever those natural antennas are down and basically make you a freaking zombie from the inside out. I'm not, And I'm not even talking about medications that specifically do actually make you feel like that. I just, I feel like that way. I feel that way about medication in general. I feel like anything that you put in your body that's not natural, your body by God's original natural design will let you know in many different ways that you're not supposed to be eating this. You're not supposed to be drinking this. You're not supposed to be taking this. And I feel like if you ignore those antennas that God put inside of you, you can retrain your mind and your body and you can reprogram it to adapt to whatever it is that you're consuming, which is how people get addicted to drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. So your body is just like, okay, she ain't listen. <laughs> you know, or he, you know, they, they're still drinking. They still, you know, smoke it. They still doing this cocaine. So I think that a lot of the stuff, I think anything, anything not natural, period, because I'm really big on you're made from the earth. That's how the father fashioned us. So before anything else that's more so um, an unnatural alternative is going to help you, there's going to be something here already that's a part of your, your blueprint, your system, that's going to help you a lot better. That being your diet for the most part. A lot of your medicine is in food. It's in your fruits and your vegetables, to be honest with you. So um, I feel that way about anything that's not natural. I think that we have certain antennas or sensitivities in us not even just spiritually i think god just kind of put it there to know when something is like not right for example um <clears throat> when your your spirit can pick up on something um like danger nearby or maybe it could be like an, an evil spirit your hair on your body raises up these things was actually put inside of you as a part of your system god did that intentionally those things happen for a reason. And I feel like when you put like foreign substances in your body, whether it's drugs or whether it's like, you know, franken food or something that's not natural food, I do feel like a lot of these things you guys are discerned. It's, it's actually designed to like shut those antennas off. So when you get used to just eating trash all the time or you get used to like, that's, that's what they're trying to get you to do with the medication. <laughs> Talk about taking it for four to six weeks. Let, let it get in your system. Let it get in your system. I don't know why. Like, the way my mind works, every time I hear a doctor say that, my mind immediately just goes to, like, an alien species. And they're just like, just let it in. Just let it in. Like, I'm about to possess you through this pill. Just let it happen, Brandy. Let it happen. Let the spirit in. Just let it happen. And your, your body is like, no. 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 Uh, no. <laughs> and they're like, just give it four to six weeks. Let, let it get in your system. And it's like, have you ever really paid attention to somebody like when they're talking, the kind of terminology that they're using? Let it get, give it time to get in your system. That's supposed to be, supposed to have defenses up <laughs> that the Lord naturally put there to ward off things that's not supposed to be in there. Give it time to break your defenses down. Give it time to get in your system. 
basically breaking in. I, 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 that's exactly how I see it. I see it as like an alien species or an alien substance coming into a system that God designed and your body is automatically like, I love watching like YouTube videos like about science, about like, you know, conception with like pregnancy and babies and cancer, how cancer cells can actually be like destroyed with like certain like, you know, frequencies of light. I watch stuff like that. And it amazes me to see like, man, <laughs> you know, the inside of our bodies is like freaking dope how God really made us because anytime your body detects something that's off, it immediately, like cells in your body immediately start going haywire to fight off and kill whatever that is. It's almost like you have actual persons living inside of you in a cellular form. And I think that, um, I think a lot of stuff, uh, by intention, to be honest with you, attention and agenda, especially, uh, the medicinal field, for sure. I mean, we talk about drugs on the street. Y'all niggas, big pharma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big pharmacia, okay, big sorcery. I think if some stuff is intentionally designed to shut that uh, spiritual and natural sensitivity off that your body has, that I would like to call its antennas, that fights against what's not supposed to be coming in. The fact that your body is responding to something as if like it has to go to war, like what the hell is this? <laughs> you know, like what what is chicken? There ain't no damn chicken. We don't recognize that it's chicken. <laughs> like, it's like your body has like a surveillance system. <laughs> or like the, uh, what they call that when you got to walk through, um, like a, like a, like a metal detector. It's like your body has like an embedded or just naturally ingrained metal detector and it can recognize when something is real and when it's not. That ain't chicken. <laughs> you made a sad chicken when you bought it. When you put it up in here, we myself, myself, <laughs> okay, and other billions of us did not recognize that as no freaking chicken, okay, <laughs> so I just think it's so dope how the Lord did that, but I do think that a lot of stuff that they make us take and things that we just drink, um, medicine, food, really anything to be honest, honestly, you guys, I think even the household products, I think everything has just been laced with witchcraft, I'm not being paranoid either, I think a lot of stuff that we just use on a daily, everyday basis is actually designed to shut off the natural antennas that God is putting in your body. And when it shuts that system down, guess what? There's no more defense. Your body can't protect you no more. Your mind can't protect you no more. You have removed those barriers. Those defenses have actually come down. And that's all I hear when, I, when a psychiatrist tells me Give it time to get into your system. It just sounds like give, give it time to break down your defenses. Whatever this is, I see it as like God has like a blueprint of how he made the human body and the spirit and the mind. And I feel like drugs and pills and stuff like that has its own like little um, system that's designed. And I feel like when you put it in the other system, they're fighting. And if you keep taking the new, um, I don't want to call it DNA. You keep taking the new system, <laughs> you keep putting it in, and it's going to be a battle for a little minute. Because God, he set you up to fight. You born to fight. You was born to fight from the beginning. Like, them, them little sperms be swimming, bro. I'll be watching the videos like, bro, like, I made it, bro. I made it. I'm here. <laughs> it's so dope. <laughs> But, you know, it, it's just kind of interesting. Like, you got to, like, really listen to people when they talk and just kind of, like, you know, read between their words, you know. So when you keep absorbing whatever this is, you keep eating that same food, drinking the same drink, and taking the same medication, there is a fight going on. It's almost like spiritual warfare in a sense. Your body is, re is resisting this stuff, is rejecting it. Your mind not even responding properly to this. But because this thing is a virus in appeal form, I think this stuff is literally intentionally designed to shift and like switch up the molecular structure of a whole bunch of stuff in your body. And the more you keep taking it, I think it shuts those uh, that system down. It shuts those antennas and those defenses down. And at, at some point, it's almost like an alien substance that's kind of meant to just take over, in my opinion. So when I be reading like reviews, because I be reading, child. You know, and I'll be, like, getting these prescriptions for these different, like, anxiety medications. I'll be looking it up. 
and I, I read the reviews and there's just so many people that's just like, oh my God, Lamotra Jean has just changed my life. I was just a hot, terrible, stinking, paranoid mess until I discovered Lamotra Jean. And you guys, I'm just so much more better. I did have some terrible side effects in the beginning, but you know what? I'm quite all right now. You know, it's just like a plethora. They're all saying the same thing and I'm reading it. And I hear what you're saying, but when I take it, all it took for me was about five or six days to realize I don't like the way you make me feel. <laughs> I read these comments like y'all niggas sound like y'all just took the mark of the beast. Like y'all was kind of fighting it for a minute, you know, or your spirit was probably like, don't do it. Don't do it. This ain't right. This ain't right. And you know, you listen to your doctor, just like religious people listen to their pastor, <laughs> okay? And you kept taking that substance. You kept taking that thing that's intentionally designed to come into your system and freaking hijack it and switch it up. Reprogram the whole thing. That is sorcery. That's witchcraft. For God to design your body and your mind with its own inbuilt system to function a certain way, and you're putting something foreign in it to reprogram the whole system and make it something completely different. That's witchcraft. And I know, like, we know that medication is witchcraft from, like, a chemical, you know, perspective. But, I mean, if you really think about it deeper on that level, that's not normal. God don't want you, like, putting, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I mean, this is literally what you see in movies. Like, I mean, the only person I'm okay with doing something like that to me is the Holy Ghost. Okay, yes, come into me. Holy Ghost, come into me. And that's not a foreign. That's not a foreign anything because we're made in his image. Please come into me, Holy Ghost. Please change all of this up, up in here because I'm a hot stinking mess, okay? I give you full permission and surrender, <laughs> okay? To reprogram all of this and to renew my mind. But that's what they're doing. I think they have learned that if you can create a substance that is attacking and I think I think that people who make these drugs you guys I think they study the human body I do I think they study the human body they study the human mind and how it functions and you can't tell me that they don't know that there's a God what phone is oh shoot two percent you see I need my charger hold on <laughs> 